How much data does Uber and Lyft use? This is extremely important because as you can imagine, if you don't have unlimited data, you may be wondering, well, do I have to spend more money? In some cases, you might need to upgrade your cell phone plan. Now I'm on Uber site right now. Lyft doesn't really have like a thing about this, which is kind of interesting. But as you can see down here, typical driver app use on your personal device is unlikely to exceed more than three gigabytes of data each month. I feel like this is actually, there should be a massive asterisk on this because there's a lot more that comes into play. I'm on this site now, this is ride sharing forum. Going down here in terms of the data usage breakdown, they were saying that, for example, when it comes to Lyft, 48 megabytes for four hours, and this is, you know, when they tracked it, 1.92 gigabytes for a 40 hour week. Going down to Uber, 37 megabytes for four hours, 1.49 gigabytes for a 40 hour week. Here's where things though get very, very tricky. With all that being said, the quick answer is, well, it depends, right? And I know there's nothing worse than an ambiguous answer, but overall it depends on how much you drive. As you can imagine, if you're doing 40 hours a week, you can be using a lot more data than just 10 hours a week. Overall, my best advice, I'm just gonna say it, get unlimited data. The reason why is when you look on that site, you know, and I read through a lot of different forums and other pages, well, think about it. If let's say you're just driving for Uber, you're using the Uber GPS, well, you can use less data than if you're running both apps, which I suggest you do, by the way. I've talked about them before in other videos. If you're running Uber and Lyft and Google Maps and let's say Pandora, which is what I typically do, I have Uber and Lyft kind of going back and forth, whichever one has the higher bonuses, higher surges, whichever one maybe has the best rides during that time. I also have Google Maps, right? The best GPS, in my opinion, by far. Then they have Pandora, which I love because let's say if it's in the morning, and I want to put on chill music, or let's say it's a Friday night and I want to put on an EDM, or especially for me being a DJ and electronic music producer, I actually have my own Pandora station. So I might throw that on, right? Maybe a little self promo, but I have Pandora running. And then even sometimes on top of all of that, I'll have, let's say a podcast app running between rides, just so that way, at least while I'm driving around waiting for another ride or going to pick someone else up, when I get a little knowledge or information along the way. So if you factor in Uber, Lyft, Google Maps, Pandora, podcasts, you're running a lot of data. And again, that's just for me, but even so, even if you're like, say you're just doing, like say Lyft and a GPS and you're running the radio, right? So really only running two apps, you're still gonna be using a lot of data. And the last thing you wanna do is be driving, like say your data cuts out, or like say you're driving and you use too much data, you go to check your cell phone bill and they charge you an insane amount because you went over your limit, well, all that money you're going to spend because you went over your limit might negate all the revenue you made as a driver. I'm just going to say it, get unlimited data, even if it's like, I don't know, I, it depends on the carrier. Like for me, I use T-Mobile. In case you're curious, maybe I could do a re review of them. I love T-Mobile. Regardless of your cell phone plan, just get unlimited data or look into it. The reason why as well is think about this, it does not even include any personal use. Now, yes, there are some drivers who have two phones or I've even seen some drivers have like iPads or whatever, but for most people, you're using your personal device. So let's say you drive 40 hours in a week and let's say you go home and you watch some of my YouTube videos on your phone, or let's say you're on Instagram or TikTok or any other app period, and you're not connected to Wi-Fi, you're also using more data. So when you combine the whole aspect of driving when it comes to the Uber and Lyft apps, plus any extra apps like Pandora, a GPS, whatever else you're using, and then you combine that with any personal use when you're not connected to Wi-Fi, you're gonna be using a significant amount of data. That's why even though I know Uber says, oh, it's not gonna exceed three gigabytes per month. I mean, maybe if you drive heavily part-time and you're only using the Uber driver app, maybe, I, I, I could see that, right? However, though, as you saw from the uh, Rideshare forum, on average, you're looking maybe about two-ish gigabytes on a 40-hour week with the Uber app, and that's in one week. You're looking about eight gigabytes a month just from the Uber driver app if you're using it a lot. Combine them with other apps. I mean, it's tough to say, right? It depends on how much you drive. But for me, I think I would probably do about at least eight to 10 gigabytes a month every month when driving. So just be aware of that. I'm just gonna say it, you know, the upcharge that you might have to spend 
to get unlimited data is well worth it if you're driving.